What's good? What's good? Congratulations. Oh, well, first and foremost, it's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing. Back to fill y'all in with the uh, Ares Landy Lara versus Gary O'Sullivan fight, man. Um, Ares Landy Lara, you know, stopped him. I don't know what round this is. Um, but just a breakdown of the fight, man. Gary O'Sullivan was there to be hit by the left hand. It, Gary, obviously, Ares Landy Lara is not the same. I mean, he's just. He's past his prime, bro. Um, and, and I'm not saying that in a bad, like, because he looked good this fight. But you can, if you watch Gary, I, I'm not Gary, but if you uh, follow Ares Lani's, Lara's career, like I did, like, um, you could just see it, even in his body, foot, like, his body structure, the way his, he, he looks a little more flabby. Um, he, 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 does, he can't use his legs as much. Like, Lara is definitely past his prime shit. You can even see it on the top of his head. He's starting to ball. But he's 39 years old. He's definitely past his prime. Um, but, however, in the beginning of the fight, um, Lara just established that established that left hand from the bay. Uh, Gary O'Sullivan was trying to be slick by stepping on Lara's foot. Lara was opening up with combinations. Lara, uh, again, with Lara not being able to use his left... Um, I'm sorry, with, with Lara not being able to use his legs... Um, Get, uh, he fought a lot of the fight inside. Gary O'Sullivan was right. He he was leaving himself open to get uh, countered by the left, and that's exactly what happened. Which dropped him. He set him straight on his ass in like the third round, uh, third or fourth round. It was a beautiful, clean left. Bam! Matter of fact, this is it right here. No, this is the stoppage. I'm sorry, but uh, he opened, touched, jab, opened him with the left, and boom, right there on the chin. But um. Just was the left was there all night, bro. And Laura looked beautiful with the combinations. But again, you could just see it. Like the thing, the, the thing, and I've, I've talked about this with Laura and not just Laura with uh, a lot of the Cubans in uh, previous videos. When like Rigandale, for example, but but expect Laura and Rigandale especially when they get you hurt, they'll get you hurt, right? And they don't go for the kill. And I feel like that's been a part of Laura's downfall in his career, like. They'll, they'll, they'll hurt you, they'll knock you down, they'll rock you, but they'll go right back to like as if they never hurt you. And, and they're, they're that discipline. That's how disciplined the Cubans are. They rely so much on their fundamentals and their discipline. Uh, they're, they're just very disciplined. So I um I definitely uh I I think Laura, I mean, this is Gary O'Sullivan. I don't think much about Gary O'Sullivan. Gary O'Sullivan looks freaking creepy to me. I think it's the stupid mustache that he has. However, um I don't think much of Gary O'Sullivan, but Lara definitely put on a clinic, man. Uh, just set, just the, the left hand, the straight left was there. Now, here's the thing about Lara, though, that I, I, I wanted to talk about, man. Like, what, um, what is next for Lara? Like, my thing is, the, the thing is, this is like Lara's career was never able to take off. Now, obviously, nobody ever was able to defeat Lara in a convincingly way. Jared Hurd barely got by him. Uh, Canelo Alvarez, you can argue, make a case for both fighters. Um, dude only landed one jab. Gary O'Sullivan landed one jab of 47 jabs. That's crazy. Um, and many, everybody knows that Paul Williams versus Lara, that was a, a huge robbery. Lara definitely won that fight. Everybody knows that. Um, but... The thing is, man, like, Lara, Lara's career was never able to, uh, let me turn this down some, um, cause Tank Davis is fighting next. Lara's career was never able to take off, bro, and I, I don't know what, I don't know why, but, you know, he just, I mean, he, he was never able to, to get many big fights. I remember, see, a lot of people, um, know, and, and Demetrius Andre for his beast with, um, with uh, the Charlo brothers, bro, right? Everybody, a lot of people know though the the, the beef with Andre and the Charlo brothers. But before Demetrius Andre was even beefing with the Charlo brothers, he was actually beefing with Ares La Lara. It was a big beef, like big rivalry going on between those two, and both fighters were calling each other out because Ares La Lara beat Demetrius Andre in the amateurs. But that fight never manifested, never came through, um, and it just, I just, it just seemed like Lara was never able to just get those big fights aside from Canelo um those majorly big fights I mean Hurd was a big fight he came up short uh you can argue back and forth let me see what Laura has to say real quick I'll see what he uh does says next but 
Uh, I just, I, I, Lara's career was never able to take off. I think the biggest name on his resume that he beat was uh, either Austin Trout or Vons Matarosin. But Lara was never just able to get those big fights, man. And um, his, he's been fighting these kind of opponents. You know, like once every blue moon, he'll get a big fight. Like, a, for example, he got the Paul Williams fight. Everybody knows that he won that fight. Uh, after that, you know, he fought a certain level of competition. Then he got like the Canelo fight. Um, you can go back and forth on that one. You can make an argument meant for both fighters. And uh, but but he did he did he did let me let me tell you he did beat Austin Trout. That was a big win. He fought Austin Trout after Canelo. After Austin Trout gave Canelo a, a good fight, um, and he beat Austin Trout even more decisively than Canelo did. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to see what what Lara is gonna say. He definitely was slick in there. He's using what he can to the best of his ability. But like I said, Lara's not able to use his legs like he used to. But staying on the inside, he is very slick. His defense is very up to par. Boom. His left hand is just there all night. His defense, he's very still, he's still very slick. Um, and his defense is still very good. But he just can't use his legs like he used to. You can just tell that Lara's past his prime. He's 39 years old, but again, going back to his career, man, he just he just was never able to. It was, it was the eighth round knock. It was the eighth round knockout, by the way, or stoppage, by the way. But he just was never able to. His career just was never able to take off. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that, like I said in previous videos, like aside from him, like Lara just um, he he is so disciplined to his fundamentals, and and and, and that's a great thing. But uh, he did a funny dance. But the thing is, like, they'll get a fighter hurt, and and they won't capitalize off it. You'll be like, damn, bro, you can finish it. Like, he's clearly hurt. He's clearly you. He's clearly there to be hit. Like, get him out of there. But they relax as if they never got him hurt. And I feel like I remember even with the Terrell Goucher fight. Okay, I thought they were gonna see what he's gonna do. Okay. Um, so even like I remember the Terrell Goucher fight on, on the undercard, the, on the undercard of that fight was Jamel Charlo versus uh Erickson Lubin, and that's when you know obviously Jamel knocked him out in one round. Um, Laura then fought Terrell Goucher, and people were walking out, man, because how how boring that fight was. It just Laura's career just was never able to take off, man. And uh, I just I just wish that I just wish we could have seen him in, in, in better fights, man, in bigger fights more frequently. Um, However, man, he's just been at this kind of standstill. He's a two division champ, and that's good. Um, but he, he he just he couldn't sec sec uh, secure a fight with uh, with Andrade. Um, at one point, him and the Charlos were training and all training together at the same division. Uh, but he couldn't get you know he couldn't you know sec secure a fight with any of the uh, top 154 pound fighters. I mean, he got to fight with Brian Castaño. But and I I feel like that was the first sign of his uh you know his uh his, his downfall like you know for lack of better words that was uh his first sign where people was like man like damn is is Laura like you know declining and uh because again Laura cannot use his legs like he used to uh but okay let me see the time out Jamal. See if they end up get him, see him fighting Jamal. Okay. Yo, yeah, I mean, that is a possibility. Laura versus Charlo. Jamal Charlo. Uh, Laura doesn't train with um, Ronnie Shields anymore, so. Airs Lonnie Lara doesn't train with Ronnie Shields anymore, so that's definitely a possibility for later on this year because it should Jamal Charlo get past Matt Seleski, which I'm sure he will, and he fights next month. So Lara versus Charlo is definitely a possibility, but um and and, and that probably should be all she wrote for, for Lara. I mean, you know. But uh that's that's a possibility. I can definitely see that both at 160, so uh, let me know what you guys think about the career of Ares Landy Lara. What do you want to see from him next, man? What do you think about him as a fighter? I, I think he's a great fighter. But um, what do you think? Like, comment, subscribe. Man, uh, I guess we might get Jamal Charlo versus Ares Landy Lara. But what do I know?